everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where today we are continuing the Ulda opening arc where Marilda here has a quest for us. I am very concerned about everything that's been happening recently so I'm hoping we might be getting some answers soon. Marilda may have stumbled upon a secret. You are an adventurer are you not? I know this is sudden but I have no one else to turn to. Last night, a gang of bandits from the Quiver on Monsi were in their cups, and I overheard them discussing their plans. It seemed they've come to collect gemstones stolen from Copperbell Mines. Noshachite, I think I heard one say. They are to meet with her co-conspirator soon at the footfalls. What did you say? Illicit exchanges and shadowy dealings. The Brass Blades cannot abide such malfeasance. Forgive my eavesdropping, Satora. I came to Crescent Cove merely to thank you in person. I never imagined I'd uncover a criminal conspiracy right outside Horizon's gates. We must act quickly if we were to apprehend these thieves. I'll notify Captain Baldwin at once. No, wait, you mustn't! Oh, gods. You must stop him before it's too late. Captain Baldwin himself is working with the bandits. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Well... Well then, let's go deal with this catastrophe then. Oh, no, 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 no. You have got to get back here, Fufalupa. This is not good. All right, off we go to hopefully catch up in time, though. Fufalupa had quite the head start, so... Let's hope those short legs give us enough time to catch up. Oh, and here we go. We've got a fight. Captain Baldwin, sir, I've discovered something shocking, something horrible. Someone has been stealing gemstones from Copperbell Mines, then. Wait, those gauntlets, those boots. Why, you're one of Quiveron's men. Sir, that man is a thief and a scoundrel. And? What of it? His coin's good, and that's what counts. But, but, Captain Baldwin, are you working with these men? It cannot be. I told you to stay in Horizon, Fufalupa. It didn't have to be like this. They'd get their Nashachite, I'd get my gill, and none would be the wiser. B but sir, what if your crimes are uncovered? What if Lord Lolorito finds out? You goddamn fool, don't you see? I'm acting under the authority of Lord Lolorito himself. No, no, that can't be true. Why do you think people join the Brass Blades of Ufalupa to serve and protect? Ha! We're not the bloody flames here. We do this for the coin. You there, adventure. Do you remember me? Well, I remember you. I am Sir Baron von Quiveron IV, Esquire. You killed my brother, and now I'm going to return the favor. Well, that settles it. It's clearly in everyone's best interest that both of you die. Corruption goes all the way up to the top. Who could have possibly seen this coming? All right, we've got another one of these dang Quiveron Barons. And we've got Baldwin Floryalms. Thankfully, they do not seem too difficult at all so far. Okay, Baldwin's uh, taking a little bit more to take down. Uh, let's move on over to taking care of the corrupt Brass Blades. The old dog uh, storyline is not even remotely subtle in its uh, political messaging, is it? Oh my goodness, that was really on the nose and I appreciate it. I think it's very funny, but also, ugh. All right, Baldwin, you're going to need to go down. You and your corruption are definitely a major plague that needs to be dealt with. That's enough, Baldwin. Your partner is dead and your plans are undone. You have no reason left to fight. Stay out of this, Leofric. I don't take orders from you. I may have spared your life before, but if you interfere, I will not show you mercy. And what mercy will he show you, I wonder? You who have done so much in another man's name. What are you blathering on about? Every fisherman in Crescent Cove knew about your meeting, you arrogant fool. Quiveron's men couldn't keep their mouths shut. 
Imagine Lord Lolorito's surprise when he learned that a rank-and-file brass blade was using his name to advance a personal agenda. He knows? Seven hells, but I'm a captain. He wouldn't. I was once a captain too, remember? Now we both know what happened to me. Well fought, boy. You've done the brass blades of the Rose proud. Captain Leofric, Captain Baldwin, he, he said that Lord Lolorito... Lord Lolorito won't waste, uh, wouldn't waste his time on a small-scale smuggling operation. This is all Baldwin's doing. Okay, so you're not saying he doesn't approve, you're just saying that it's too small for him. What else did he say? That all our brethren are no better and that each and every one cares not for naught but coin? Ha! Mere excuses to justify his schemes. Ah, we've no shortage of greedy sods, and we'd probably sell their own mothers into slavery if the price was right. But there are men like you, Fufalupa. Men good and true whom the small folk respect. Which is why I gave you the dagger. The brass blades of the rose need a leader with honor, and you're the most honorable man I know. Captain! Thanks for all your help, Satora. The captain and I will escort Captain Baldwin back to Horizon. Pray, me, pray visit me in town when you next return. Well, that's one corrupt bastard out of the way, at least. So that's a relief. Okay, let's get back to Horizon. Not the longest walk, so I'll save my teleport, even if it is free. So that's also probably why they only wanted a very small contingent of brass blades. They weren't just escorting the thaumaturges, they were also making sure that no one who actually cares would witness what was going on with the exchange. Well, good to know that it has been undone so easily and Baldwin's gonna be in trouble. I hope. I'm not optimistic, but maybe. It does seem like he may, in fact, get some... Get some punishment for his crimes and his abuses of power. Hello there, Fufalupa. Welcome back, Satora. So much has happened. Captain M. Baldwin has been arrested and stripped of rank, which means the Brass Blades of the Rose no longer have a captain. Until a new one is designated, I've been ordered to serve as acting captain as a Horizon garrison. Though doubtless this is only a temporary arrangement, I will do my utmost to represent my brethren and protect the people of Horizon. Thank you, Satora, for your service to the Sultanate. You are a true hero. I don't think it's just a temporary position, friend. I think you've earned it. You, at, at the very least, you care far more than most of the brass blades I've seen. We literally got to Old Da on a carriage that was nearly falsely arrested because a brass blade planted Somnus on the carriage so they could find the carriage driver. I don't have a lot of confidence in the Brass Blades. Next time on Final Fantasy XIV, it's all secrets and lies around here. I'll see everyone next time for that. <laughs>